It's been a very interesting session. So how are you tackling noise and air pollution in Rotterdam? Well, we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, systems for that. Uh, for example, land use planning. For example, we try to have all the offices above uh, public transportation system. We have a uh, big transportation system, bus, tram, metro. Uh, recently, at the start of the year, we started with an emission zone, a low emission zone, in which the most polluting cars are not allowed to get into the city centre. So we encourage them to park their cars on the, on the on the sides, on the outskirts of uh, the city, um, otherwise they are not allowed to get in, which is, means that all diesel cars who are really very bad on route and NOx, so try to, to avoid them there. Are there any particular challenges with your city compared to other European ones? I think so, because um, in the Second World War, Rotterdam was bombed very heavily. After that, it was rebuilt. In the rebuilding, we made many highways and motorways right through the city. Secondly, we have the biggest port of Europe right in the middle of the city. So that's another source of pollution. Cars and uh, ships together makes it uh, sometimes uh, unhealthy air. And we are doing a lot of them. Uh, of course, ships are less being influenced by city policies, but uh, for cars with low emission zones, we, we try to reach uh, the most polluted streets and uh, we, we expect a lot of results from that. I guess the starting point for trying to reduce or continue to reduce air and noise pollution yeah. is understanding how people move around your city and there are opportunities there but there are also challenges. Absolutely and uh, you know uh, the Netherlands is uh, very good in bikes, we have more bikes than people in the Netherlands so we have in uh, Rotterdam so we have uh, many dedicated bike lanes, special traffic lights for bikes and it all to, uh, to get those people when they have to do a distance lower than seven kilometers, we should say use the bike, that's the best opportunity and if you cannot then use public transportation if that's not an option as well and the last part then use your car. And if you were to imagine your city in 10, maybe 20 years time, how would it look? Well, I think a lot different. Uh, I think there will be far more uh, cars without any pollution and emission. I think we will have a lot of electric cars, we have a lot of charging stations there, uh, maybe also automatic cars who drive very close behind each other, which uh, needs less space and maybe, uh, maybe also they are electric. So much healthier uh, living climate, so it will be even more interesting to walk and to bike in uh, the city of Rotterdam than it is already now.